I managed to find an old um, oil storage tank down on the docks that we converted. And um, from then on, I mean, we, we relied on volunteers um, to help us run it. And we did that for like 17 years, basically. We looked after the animals and nobody, but nobody gained a penny out of it. I mean, we didn't pay traveling expenses. We didn't pay people to go out and do rescues or whatever, simply because we didn't have the money to be able to, well, we wouldn't have had the money to, to look after the seals if that was the case. Well, we've got one of the biggest populations of gray seals in, um, in Europe, and I, I believe, around the Pembrokeshire coast. I mean, it's, it's probably our fault that we get most of the casualties because we, we drove them off the, off the uh, normal beach, which are now tourist beaches, where they, they'd pup and, you know, they were able to crawl up if the tide came in or the winds got up. Um, but they can't do that anymore, so they revert to little, you know, isolated coves where the public can't get to. But unfortunately, if you get a big spring tide and heavy winds, um, the, the beach floods and the pup gets washed away and, and that's it. If the mother can't keep track of it, then she's lost it and that's it. She'll look for it for a day. If she can't find it, she'll go off then. These seals, I mean, they're not like any other animal. They need an awful lot of attention. And I mean, some would come in um, probably from a day old. They'd be newly born and because of bad weather, they get immediately washed away from their mothers and there's just absolutely no no chance of them surviving. So. We'd, we'd find them on a beach, or the members of the public would find them on a beach and call us. We'd go out there, check them out, and um, pick them up and um, take them back and look after them. Uh, I mean, some would be battered around where they'd been, you know, knocked about on the rocks and they were quite badly injured, or if, they were, if they'd been out a long time, um, the injuries would then get infected, so they'd have horrendous infections on their flippers, and generally. so. We, we were able to sort that out and basically keep feeding them and fattening them up until they were ready to go back into the wild. We, we had a few years where, and, it, and I, I related it to, to the Sea Empress as a result of that. Whether it was true or not or not, I believe it to be true, but the, um, the, the, the seals, they were having problems with their jaws. Their jaws were just falling apart. A um, lot were born blind. Um, and, and then as the years progressed, it, although we had them, it got less and less and less. But it seemed to heap in just after the, the disaster, you know, where perhaps their, their immune system had been knocked out or something had happened. I mean, we used to look after the seals up until this last year, but we've now decided that we're going to close the hospital that we were looking after them in. And um, we'll, we'll carry on doing the rescues, but we'll, we'll probably um, pass them on, well we will pass them on to the RSPCA so that they can take them on to their facilities. I mean there's only one RSPCA inspector in the area and he, he can't always be available so I can pick them up, bring them back here and do the necessary with them, feed them and medicate them and, and keep them as well until um, they're ready to go, until they can be picked up. Well, they they normally either take them down to Cornwall. They've they've got a facility down there. I think it's West Hatch, or alternatively they they go over to Norfolk. But the only the only problem is that you know it's a long way. I, I think the the future is is okay, providing we look after it, same as everything else. I mean, you can't just say, oh, there's no seals about. I think that's generally what's happened nowadays. You know, oh, we we haven't got any seals. You know, instead of looking at it beforehand and saying, you know, well, let's look after what we've got. Uh, otherwise, you know, they will go. But I think we'll be gone long before the seals will.